Hi, I'm Jeff Teeter. I'm a systems engineer with the America Partners Organization, and today we'll be reviewing Lab 4 of the Cisco Open SDN Controller Hands-On Labs, specifically looking at uh, the PSEP Manager. So basically we're going to kind of take, um, start from where we ended in lab 3 and we're going to look specifically at the PSEP manager. Um, so on the application to toolbar we're, we're just going to go ahead and click PSEP manager. And as you can see it's it's a very similar topology uh, to the PSEP manager, I'm sorry, to the BGPLS manager. Uh, but on the screen you can do a, a lot of things. Um, and uh, specifically, uh, one of the things that you can do, you obviously you can do the same kind of things as far as uh, find out the information of the device, the IP address, and by highlighting over it, um, see which ones are directly connected, just like on the BGPLS manager. Uh, but one of the uh, important capabilities of here, uh, of this uh, manager, is the ability to create MPLS LSP tunnels. And uh, you can do that by uh, just going and clicking on the interface uh, symbol on uh, the upper right hand corner. And um, to create a new LSP, just click on Create New LSP, uh, the green button. And then go ahead and select, uh, you can either do an auto path by using uh, IGP or HOPS as far as your cost metric or you can actually go ahead and uh, create it uh, via a manual path. But let's go ahead and, and create uh, auto path. Let's say we want to go from, uh, let's see, router one to, oh, router, let's say router four. And we can do that by IGP and just hit go. And then what it will do is it'll give us the cost and show us uh, what the pathway would be if we were to uh, select that. So let's go ahead and uh, just select the shortest path here. The cost uh, is 10. So go ahead and, and select that. And then go ahead and give it a name and we'll just call it uh, LSP1 and hit deploy. And the path has uh, been successfully created and now uh, it's uh, also displaying from the database uh, any established LSPs. So we can go ahead and do that again and uh, create another LSP, but this time we can, um, instead of using uh, IGP, just uh, we can use hops. So we'll go from, uh, again, let's go from router 1 to router 4, or let's go to router 3 and then uh, select hops and uh, from the cost it will show us uh, what the different cost is based on hops uh, so in in this way they're both the same so you can select one or the other I'll go ahead and select this one we'll give it an LSP name we'll just say LSP2 and hit deploy and the path has been successfully created And let's go ahead and actually uh, demonstrate how to create a, a path manually. Um, so let's go ahead and create a new LSP. And this time instead of uh, having the uh, program create the different options, let's just do it manually. And um, this way we can select um, from which router we want to uh, start and end. So uh, when you uh, actually click on a router, it'll automatically then give you the choice of the next router, any of the routers that are directly attached. So let's uh, select router 2 and then let's select router 3 and then go ahead and select router 4. And so as you can see it has kept track. We're going from 1 to 2, 2 to 3, and 3 to 4. Let's go ahead and uh, give the LSP tunnel a, a name. Let's call it LSP3 and hit deploy. Okay, it says the path has been created. So now we have uh, actually three different uh, LSP tunnels and it's uh, keeping track of all of them. 
So uh, to go ahead and verify that, just to make sure that that configuration is actually out there, that this just isn't appearing on the controller and there's nothing happening on the routers, let's go ahead and go to the router and uh, let's go to a router and just verify it. So let's go to router 1 and let's issue a, a show command just to see uh, what's happening. So let's uh, show MPLS traffic engineering PCE tunnels. Okay, and it looks like we have uh, three separate tunnels. Um, we have uh, the first tunnel, uh, destination is router four. Uh, the second tunnel, um, if you remember, we're going to router three. And then the last tunnel uh, is going to uh, router four also. And we can also uh, get more information. We can do another show command. So let's show uh, MPLS traffic engineering, uh, PCE, and let's look at the LSP database on the router. Okay, so uh, it actually gives us the name LSP1, uh, the ID, uh, where this is actually being created, as you can see, it's uh, giving the IP address of the OpenSDN controller is the person that's actually creating this. Uh, what the destination and the source is. So we're going from router 1 to router 4 and it's uh, completely up. And uh, that's for LSP1. Here's LSP2. Again, it's created by the OpenSDN controller. Uh, the destination is um, router 3 from router 1 and uh, giving you uh, all the information here on the LSP path. And the last one, LSP3. Again, it's uh, created by the OpenSDN controller, and again, we're going from router 1 to router 4. So as you can see, the, the application on the OpenSDN uh, controller is working exactly like it's supposed to. So let's go ahead and, and uh, delete some LSPs and uh, see what happens. So let's uh, go back to the OpenSDN controller here. And let's say delete LSP. And let's just go ahead and delete them all. Hit delete LSPs. And at least according to this, they're all gone. Let's go back and look at the router and see what the router uh, is showing here. So let's first look at the tunnels. And there's no tunnels. Let's look at the database and no database. So it's just that quick. Uh, the OpenSDN controller just, you know, within a couple seconds can spin those tunnels up and down uh, very quickly. So that is uh, the end of lab four. In lab five, we'll actually be getting into OpenFlow, and that's a little bit longer lab because there's a lot of different things that we'll be doing, especially with Wireshark, uh, setting different flows and, and deleting flows and filtering and just tons of stuff. Uh, so I look forward uh, to continuing in that lab.